Hey kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. I'm your host Mr. EDC. Today I have a short uh, tip video for all you knife users, specifically when it comes to thread locker. Now I basically only have uh, two tips for you today. The first is that you always want to use a medium strength thread locker on your knife. The reason why is that sometimes when you have the pivot, uh, sometimes when you screw in the pivot, right? And just that vibration of opening and closing it will actually unscrew the pivot. The, the pivot. So you want to use medium strength thread locker to, to or blue lock tight in this case to make sure that it doesn't vibrate out as easily but you never want to use red or high strength or high strength thread locker because that is something you want to use on threads that you never never ever want to open up ever again but in this situation we want to open it up because we want to maintain our tool so always use blue or medium strength thread locker next thing sometimes that uh, what happened to me is that I've added thread locker uh, in this pivot but it has actually gone loose so I have uh, realized that there's some blade play and then when it goes down the the, the centering is really off and it's really favoring the uh, non uh, the non lock side so the lock bar is kind of pushing on the blade and it's hitting on this side so we're gonna try to fix that we're gonna open this up sorry not this side we're gonna open up on this side okay Take that up. Then I'm gonna apply some thread locker, uh, blue strength, uh, medium strength thread locker. Sorry, this is the end of the day. All right, just apply it like that. Oh, that's a bit too much. Let's reduce it. There we go. You never wanna have too much because then it just spreads out through through the rest of the pivot color here, which is also blue. I'm gonna drop that in gently. I'm gonna tighten that bad boy down. Okay, centering is all right. Now it is about 55 45, so that's good enough for me. I'm gonna open it up, feel if there's any blade play. So far, no blade play. Let's check the drop. It's alright, pretty good. No blade play. Check the drop. It's alright, it's good. Centering is uh, has gone off a little bit actually. No. Let's, uh, let's try to tighten up this side. No rock, no lock rock, no side to side. Drops nice. Bit too tight now. Let's uh, reduce the tension here. Just a little bit. Now there's a little bit of blade play here, which is something you always want to be careful of when you buy a uh, much more budget end knives from China or anywhere else in the world. Really, sometimes the tolerances are not as tight as uh, something that's about five times the cost which makes sense because this is only like a 30 USD or in Malaysia 150 ringgit so it makes sense that you know, it's not gonna have as good as a tolerance as something like an expensive spider core or ZT all right so I'm happy with that so off to the second tip the second tip is actually this is actually a liquid you can see here right there this is actually a liquid and it has to harden so my mistake was I, I put it in and I flipped it, it works fine. Then I just carried it with me uh, the next day or I, and I just carried it with me the rest of the day. I did the assembly, the maintenance in the morning and it didn't have enough time to harden and I just kept flipping and flipping and flipping and then the Loctite didn't have enough time to set. So after you've placed it, you flipped it a few times, you're happy with it, just keep it overnight and just make sure that it has enough time to harden. And that's it. That is my two tips when it comes to uh, red Loctite. So thank you very much. Don't forget to check out the description down below. I have my information on my Patreon account where if you want to see the channel grow and you want to help out, you can donate some money through my Patreon account and you can contribute to it as well. It's not a donation. It's a contribution. Anyway, thanks guys. Stay ready. And uh, this is Mr. EDC. Follow me on Instagram.